world changers. In this Motivational Monday episode, you are going to learn why gratitude is so important. But first, don't forget to tap that like button and hit subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. I hope that you were able to rest and recharge this weekend. And now it's Monday. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, I know that Mondays, Mondays, y'all. Sometimes Mondays can make us feel so sad and so stressed out. I know because I've been there. I used to dread Mondays for years until one day I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm dreading Mondays because that's the message that I keep sending to my brain that Mondays are awful, terrible. I just want to go back to the weekend. And then I was like, hold up. What if I change the way that Mondays keep replaying in my brain? What if instead of being stressed out and bummed out about Mondays, I'm like, I'm pumped about Mondays. I'm so excited about Mondays. Why? Because it's the start of a new week. It's a new opportunity to try again, to work hard and to make a difference. And you know what? It worked and it changed my life forever when I changed the message that my brain was sending. Listen, I learned this when I was an adult, but I want you all to get this from a young age. The idea that Mondays are amazing. They're filled with opportunity, with hope, with fresh new ideas, if you just embrace it like that. So you know what time it is. Let's go ahead and bust out our best power pose. Feet apart, shoulders back, head up, knuckles to your hips, and repeat after me. This is how I Monday. Awesome, let's go ahead and get started then. So earlier this year, there was a school in Florida that purchased a few of my math programs to help their students and teachers. Well, after a few weeks of using McCarthy Math 155, a third grade teacher at this school reached out and emailed me. Listen up kids, teachers, are busy, like y'all don't even see half of what teachers do. And she took time out of her busy schedule to let me know that her students love the videos, love the songs, and you know what? They pretty much beg her for McCarthy math every day. And get your tissues ready, because here's what she said, it was so sweet. She said, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for creating such amazing resources. We are so grateful for you, and you will always have a special place in our class and in our hearts. I mean, come on, isn't that sweet? I have to be real and say, that I was boohooing like a baby. When I get emails like that, y'all, it just, oh. And not only did this make my week, but I also picked up on something that this teacher was doing. She was rocking an attitude of gratitude. Rocking an attitude of gratitude? What you talking about, Miss McCarthy? You know, gratitude. Like showing that you're grateful or thankful for someone or something. Here are some ways that you can rock an attitude of gratitude starting today. Say thank you when someone hands you something, like even a pencil or a sheet of paper. If somebody does something nice for you, like holding the door open for you or offering you some advice, a sincere or a thank you from the heart, is a really cool thing to do. When you wake up in the morning, you could say, thank you for this day, thank you for the air in my lungs, let's do this. When you sit down to eat a meal, thank the person who took the time to prepare it for you. And when you're going through a hard time or a hard season, it provides an opportunity for you to be grateful for all the good things that you have in your life, all the good people that you have in your life. And you can also be grateful for the sometimes challenging lessons that will make you stronger. But we'll talk more about that next week. Now, rocking an attitude of gratitude isn't something that you just do here and there every once in a while. No, 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 no. I want you to be someone who expresses gratitude consistently. Go ahead and say that word consistently with me. Ready? Consistently. Awesome. Consistently means over and over and over again, making it a regular habit that you're doing every single day. When you are consistently rocking an attitude of gratitude, you'll notice that three things happen. Number one, you'll feel a dose of happiness instantly. For real, when you're feeling sad or stressed out, go ahead and do what I do. Take out a sheet of paper, get a pencil, and jot down a list of all the things that you're grateful for. And bam, you'll realize how much better and happier you feel after you do this. Number two, you'll attract the right people into your life. People notice when you're somebody who expresses gratitude and says thank you on a regular basis. You really do stand out in a good way. And number three, you'll inspire others to do the same. And you know what that makes you? A world changer. Something as simple as rocking an attitude of gratitude on a daily basis, people notice and then they're like, hey, I wanna be like that too. And that is pretty awesome because you are totally awesome. That's right, 
rocking an attitude of gratitude consistently will absolutely change your life. By the way, I'm a math teacher for grades three, four, and five, and I am incredibly grateful for the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you. So if you need some help with math, go ahead and check out my website at McCarthyMathAcademy.com. The link is below. Before we go, remember that you were born with something special, and it's your job to figure out what that is, and then use your special gifts, talents, abilities, strengths to go out there in the world and make this world a better place. And yes, I mean you. See you next time, world changer.